Welcome everybody to some more of uh, Resident Evil Revelations. So we're going to continue on. I think we're still on uh, episode 11. Looks like we might have a little bit of a flashback. This guy's a slut. That's what I believe. See you guys. I feel like uh, Parker survived. I feel like underneath there was water or something. Even though there was fire, but he probably fell into the water or something. I don't think he just died like that, to be honest. I refuse to believe it. Revelations. So we're gonna... I don't know if we're having a flashback right now. Yeah. That's it. One year ago. Are we in hell? Yes. They call it Terra Grigia. It looks dressed more modestly here, eh? Let's get... Hold on a second. Let me... What's happening with this... All right. Let's go, Jessica. This place won't last much longer. Right. We should get to the command room. Whoa, my... Holy shit, I mean... It. We don't have any bullets. <laughs> Yeah, hold on a second, Jessica. Let me. Uh... We basically have nothing here. Now let's hope uh, we get to the command room right away, right? Yeah. The boss has pushed for an expansion of the FPC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. My man has P90. Community will finally get the message. The FBC has a lot of growing to do. Got any bullets? Oh, someone's up here. Raymond, Raymond my man. Look at these guys. Oh my god, oh my beaks. It's like their bullets don't do any damage, right? It's honestly, it's like if, uh, I have nothing left. No, you will not be. Don't try to act tough. All right, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker. HQ has told you to leave. But I can still fight. Now may I'm ring. Now, how did they pull this off with just a few dozen men? Who armed them? The BOWs, the most, you know, the most men. Okay, what do you got here? Article. 
London Daily Carrier Tragedy and Terrigia Beast Lost Towards Europe to Be Born and the Beast in the Federal Bioterrorism Commission. What is unique about this beast is that the Federal Species Protection Committee that gave birth to it was no beast itself, but was intended to assist the US in its counter bioterrorism efforts. Unfortunately, Europe has become the home to a tragedy that has aroused the beast. The FBC has taken complete control uh, the biohazard outbreak in Terrigiria, 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 in my language, has an effect barred the participation of other countries. Terrigiria is an aquapolis that has developed jointly by US and European teams to research and develop. Alternative energy sources that Imputius behind the city's development was twofold. The European wanted to halt climate change and the Americans hoped to develop energy sources for Africa. The end the city was placed strategically in Mediterranean Sea. Is that for um, Wesker's plan and uh, Resident Evil 5 there, the Africa stuff? Uh, has enjoyed cooperative administration by both sides and has been held up as a model successful US-European corporation. Uh, the terrorist attack in Terra, I'm just going to call it Terra, has put the kibosh on that according to condition is stipulated in the treaty outlining terra governance both the u.s and europe have equal authority during terrorist attack only during the events of bioterrorism does the fbc assume leadership role the fbc has formed with the express purpose of dealing with threats posed by bioterrorism they have crack squad of soldiers on permanent standby and by the measure they have the most expensive charter of any organization in europe during a time of crisis, they have blessing of the U.S. to take charge and control the situation. And that was the FBC came to be in charge of the current chaos in Terra. FBC Commissioner Morgan Linsdale has announced that EU involvement will not tolerate while his organization deals with the crisis. European authorities pressed Lonsdale to respect their rights in this matter, and they were able to convince him to bring in Commander Cleve R. Bryan of the BSAA. A well-respected international civilian group. The problem, however, is even though Brian himself is a bioterrorism expert, he is working with virtually no support staff, which limits the scope of action he can take. While the story on the tragedy is still unfolding, it would seem that FBC is ignorant of the extent to the suffering of Terra. Rather, Lionsdale has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack with becoming a Yitzin beast also remains to be seen. Okay, we get a little bit of information. And nothing in these, uh... Oh, this is... Here, footsteps. There's gonna be some people here, Jessica. Alright, let's go. We are making it here. Alright. You're too young to play hero. Earn some <laughs> before you get yourself killed. Yeah, we just gotta be smarter. I swear last time we put so many ammo bullets in these guys, they now he's like dying with two shots. Oh, this guy's taking like. Okay, what way are we gonna go? Let's go this way first. Oh, there's something on the ground here. Is this a nope? Nope. Oh, we got some grenades here. Heels. Where does this take us? Does this just take us back out? No, this doesn't. It is that other side we came from, but it doesn't doesn't really take us anywhere. Okay, that's perfectly. It's perfectly fine here. Then we go through here. M three. M three dash one. Oh, isn't this like a similar area? Did we miss? Did we miss any? Oh, right here.
Jessica. Uh, like it's just blood stains here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he survives. I'm pretty sure this is before the first of. floor there okay, we got it okay, that's the way we gotta go back then Or is it just above, like... So Parker, it's nothing new, but... Aren't you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel stamp. <sighs> okay, fine. The guys in your little games. <laughs> oh, look at this. Fourth floor. Let's just go up. The fourth floor is this way. Oh, my days. Probably not. Oh, we got like. All right, fair enough. I mean, not bad. We did get some ammunition. And we got heal, so... I think now we're full on heals. Well, I remember this room. That's kind of the way they, they escaped, isn't it? My man, where you going? I think this is like a black flip bolt. We take it. There you go. Shit, we can't really use that. Probably should have used some of the submachine guns. Okay, we got grenades here. Kind of quickly. Look, we don't miss anything else. Oh. Okay, let me read quickly. Don't take it out on him. It's not his fault. 
All right, let's read the newspaper article, da Daily Carrier article 2, uh, London Daily Carrier, who commands the general? Is he just a shadowy figure manipulating events from the offstage, or is he a hero leading the charge against the bioterrorism? Anyone who has heard General Morgan Lansdale gave a speech will immediately be struck by his intelligent and keen insight. The charisma, that charm, his audience served him well in the cloak and dagger world of international espionage he occupied for many years. He has been able to char uh, charm Congress into expanding the charter of his group to find and deal with bioterrorism threats, which brings us to today's Lonsdale. Not only commands the FBC, but also the Federal Species Protection Committee. He, re he refuses to give up either of these posts. Lonsdale created the FBC to handle bioterrorism. The organization is a major player on the international stage, public safety and animal welfare, and that is all thanks to Lonsdale. But the question remains, is he a hero or a monster? Only time will tell. Wow, he's a monster. We know that much. This guy is playing some sick game. Alright, let's go. Where are we going to go? This way. Uh, let's go, my girl. Oh, man. What? Oh. Thought you can do something here. Okay. Just got they coming. Oh my days. What the hell? Wow. Probably should pull out the P90. Something tells me we're going to have like a big battle here to uh to keep our boy oh we already read that Right. That's it. Oh, look at the, oh, they are they are just my man. What this guy's waiting for us here? Oh, what? What a cheap shot. Looks like a villain. He has the face of a villain. Welcome to the real world. Yes, sir. Okay. That should ease the pain. I should be able to walk. Then follow us. The elevator to the command room is right there. I mean, you're able to walk, but I hope you're able to shoot too. Think you can move, cadet? I can fend off anything that comes our way. Oh, yes, okay, you liar. You betrayed us. Come on, get it. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything. Something is off. What now? Think about it. The delivery dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. And how did they manage to evade the FBC's vast intelligence network? It just doesn't add up. Unless 
before it adds up. It adds up for us now. He is right, though. Honestly, I agree with you, my man. I don't know why this guy ain't listening. My cadet. got like so we can kind of uh, I think we're good with the saw machine gun to be honest where are we supposed to go oh, over here Or maybe are we supposed to go up? Got it. Follow. Right over here. A second, let's just load up here. I don't think I think we're gonna be done this right now. We've been here for like 20 minutes. I assume we'll be done, but who knows, right? Who the hell knows? Oh, over here 24. Anything over here? Okay. Sorry, automatically. Yes, I understand. I can hear you just fine. That is simply splendid news. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. Morgan. You intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we'd certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. The ship serves as a controlled environment, and the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. The boldness of your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. I will take that as a compliment. We knew that you could end up being a liability. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. You may do as you please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! <laughs> Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast. 
Some cold type of shit right here. Oh, he's still alive. See, I knew it. Out and the coordination of the ships. All to put heat on Morgan. But, sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work. In both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quint, they've left us with an ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? We assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terra Grigia panic. But there was a third. Final queen. There we go. And so I guess we're going to the final final area right now. Accuracy wasn't too good. Hey. Um. I wonder if those two guys are dead then, Quint. That's uh. They're a little annoying, but they were. They look like good chaps, you know. They look like good people. I hope they're not. I. I think they survived, to be honest. I'll be sad that uh, if they did, and they died a hero's death. Previously. On Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, Norman. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout coordination of the ships all to put heat on Morgan but I haven't given up yet they've left us with an ace in the hole what is this the queen is dead yeah this looks like it's the final one the final queen yes queen Dido been resting on the ocean floor since that day which means we'll find her a terra grigia exactly terra grigia we have a responsibility to see this mission through o'brien out like i said this one has more of a story you know uh, there's more connection pretty straightforward Hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. 
Clive R. O'Brien. You are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. We will get it done. As Chris and Jill always do. Like a full of cinematic movie here, to be honest. The remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop off point. So if this thing is underwater, what? Queen Dibo. That's the Queen Dido. The third queen. We search the sunken ship. I mean, like, Chris should be doing this, but... Oh, right, Chris will do it. Oh, man, we don't have a rocket launcher, so if we do meet the final boss... I don't think we will, but... Well, in case we do... We are pretty much screwed then. There are some sharks out there. Oh. Okay, we got a legal kit. They have to give us something here, right? Yeah, they gotta they gotta do something for us here. Cause we we gotta upgrade, right? So At least he died a human, more or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Oh. Something's still alive. Careful, you won't be able to fight them off underwater. Okay. Anything over here? Nope, let's go this way, Chris. So are you gonna find some kind of intel to get out of here or something? Oh, search, search, search. What is this? The door is locked. Okay, we're gonna need some electric lock. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. Yeah, at least we got a save point.
Oh, swim. What do we have here? Okay. Well, where does this thing go? Let's look at it. Okay, he comes this way. Oh. We are here. Machine gun. We need these. We need these ammunition. There we go. Jill, the door's open. Okay, on my way back. Swim. Game streak. Okay, let's move in. Oh. Here we are going. Can strife using okay. There's still air. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. FBC. There's something in his hand. Some kind of cassette. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team. Everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Well, Joe, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Gratio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. Kept them alive. Chris, you ready, my man? Oh, Jesus, Chris, you see that?
I hope we can like before we go in any further we can like change our weapons can we not Oh yeah, that ain't creepy at all. Why is it gone so dark? Chris. Speak to me, my man. Speak to me. Dante Algirita La Divina Commedia An Offering to the Dead. A passage has been underlined how the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make shelter for the other. Off turn themselves the wretched reprohibits. Dante Algeria of Divine Commandment Infernal Canto something. There is something written at the edge of the page. It's sloppy writing. Those who offer their lives to their dictorian forever walk the path of the great Norman Paul. Don't worry, we'll get revenge for you. Just don't do anything stupid. All of our interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Oh, yes. Norman was the head of Veltro. He has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Okay, let's do it. Critical. Oh, critical. Okay. Hard shot too. All right, which one? Oh, okay, we're gonna keep the sniper for sure. We are gonna take. Oh, look at that assault rifle. Uh, we're gonna take the rocket launcher. So we, I think we can just take the hawk. I believe. Yeah, sniper will be sniper will be a little bit too much, I think. Sixty percent damage. Uh, let's remove. Let's remove. Let's remove. Move. Okay. Let's add the damage here. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep these for this. Let's add this here. Let's add a low magazine. Alright, so we have a little more.
What is this? Okay. All right, Chris, you ready? We. Oh, what is this here? Video was shot here. Well, thanks for staying the goddamn obvious. I wish we could carry like a bit more because I don't know if. I mean, uh, this stuff looks good enough, right? Let's go. Okay, we got five heals. Oh man, look at this. Here goes. Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh and his own figure, shall hear what from eternity re echoes. My man is just killing the My knives. Six. Oh, we are. Sir. Morgan Lansdale. Sir. Sit down. Sir, sit down. What if I blast him with a rocket launcher right now? Fuck your shit up right here, my man. Obviously, that ain't gonna work right now. Yes, it is. They're not him. We seek it. Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. All oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. Grab it. This is it. We got the evidence. Run. Shoot him. Well, all the shooting and accuracy these guys got, like some of the other videos, they just like. Oh. See. What? Oh, did we shoot? Oh, I think we end up shooting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think what happened was I accidentally, uh. I accidentally shot, so this game kind of uh, screwed us over there. All right, let's just go. Let's do this. Right away, a boss fight. Previously, oh no, it's straight up loading. No, previously, like we're straight up going in. Oh man, this thing looks like a. This is Nemesis right here. He actually looks very similar to Nemesis. What? Well, there's something beating in there. That's a heart, isn't it? Get up! Yo, what are you doing? My girl out here, like... How do we... Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit.
Oh, what? Okay, we, we shouldn't have used that bazooka then. We... Oh yeah, come on, bitch. Well, Chris. Oh, we, what? I don't know how the dodging completely works, but... We did it. Done. Everything finished. Finally. No, he doesn't look like Nemesis. He looks uglier. I wonder how him versus Nemesis would end. I think Nemesis wrecks him. To be honest. Thought he had something against Jill. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea of this. No vaccine? Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes, that the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC? As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're That's stupid. Fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. A divine comedy. But I'm not done. <laughs> You're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are hereby relieved of your position as FPC commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, 
the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Maybe, but it's the right mistake. The right I've mistake. Heard that before. The queen is dead. Hey, I thought my actually was 80% actually was pretty good. Like, I want like 85, 90 to get like an S. Oh, raid mode. Okay. Oh, what is next here? Oh, we are heading out now. Oh, we'd have to escape the ship. We can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah. Just the Resident Evil 5, Chris. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? Until Revelations 2. After Morgan learns the arrest, the FPC was dissolved. The majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. Fair enough. The BSA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspice of the United Nations. Oh, look at these guys. They survived. <laughs> Keith Lemmy is now leading figure at the BSA East African branch due to his accomplishment at the Vulcan Mulkey. Okay. Keith Lemley. Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but still works at the BSA main headquarters in the R&D department. Uh, me in here. Parker. <laughs> Parker Luciana was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operation agent for the BSAA main headquarters. Director O'Brien. See what he's letting go. Clive O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions, stepped down from his position as the head of BSAA. That's good. He is currently an advisor to the BSA and is also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. Fair enough. That's a good retirement. Oh, this is now where Resident Evil 5 begin. And as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. <laughs> so that could have been, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We could have played it before, but it's, it's fine. We kind of already know what happens. My man took down Wesker. That's all that matters. All right, guys. Uh, we are done with this. Uh, pretty interesting. I mean, compared to other ones, the, the, the story was pretty straightforward in this one. I, uh, like, all the other ones, I kind of had, like, a connection. But this one kind of went with the whole FPC kind of layout. And I felt it was uh, more of a direct story. With still, obviously, the virus being, like, a key denominator in all the Resident Evil games. But uh, it was pretty interesting in the in the sense of like there was a lot of betrayal, uh, mystery and stuff like that surrounding it. But as you kind of played it, the story kind of added back up together. Interesting to see a little bit about the BSA. So I hope there's a little bit more. I know there's Revelation 2 and there's Resident Evil 6. So we might get to learn a little bit more in those ones. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, it's been a pretty good game. I, From what I heard about it, a lot of people didn't like it. But uh, honestly, I'd say like... Compared to all the Resident Evil games I played so far, I'd definitely put it like a uh, in the middle section of them. I wouldn't say I thought like from what I heard, I thought it'd be like in the bottom, in terms of the uh, my like uh, my list of how I would rank the Resident Evil games. But I would say this would at least make the mid section. But uh, yeah, uh, it's been a great game. It was great to see Jill again, and uh, Chris is in a lot of games. You know, like he's in there more than Leon. This is what we see him in uh, Resident Evil. Uh, we see him in uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil. 4, 
five now revelations. Am I missing him somewhere else? I know those four definitely he's in. So anyways, uh, what we'll do is we'll call it quits here. And hopefully in a couple of days, I'll get uh, Resident Evil 6 started. Uh, thank you for sticking through the whole series. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in Resident Evil 6.